So here we are in this uh, 2020 fake today, changing this thermistor out. This is the, takes the temperature and sends back to the spider panel. It has these two white screws. So you take those out and when you do, it kind of comes down right there. So let me put this over here out of the way. So you see you have the wires go through the roof. This is how the thermistor works. You have two kinds. One is for the zone. That's the older one, the zone to be one, two, and three. Um, these are for one thermistor for one AC. But you see they can't hardly come out. So what you have to do is grab this and the cover comes down. I don't know if you're going to be able to see up in here. And this one doesn't have it, but there is a You'll see you can see the wire I'll pull back here. see the wire moving in there. So what I want you to notice is this is that there are two butt connectors here. So these normally have over the hole in there which you which you can't see is some uh, putty tape they put there but this one doesn't have it so chances are they've been changed before uh but the important thing about changing these thermistors if you get these we have the part number here uh let's get this tiffin uh this is the part number that we use air conditioner room sensor package white one per ac and uh that, that's the number you kind of see what it what it looks like there so but the important thing is you you think about changing these a lot of times people don't realize you have where where this goes through the ceiling and it comes out up here which again i don't think you're going to be able to see that but there's usually some butyl tape over that hole and then you have these right here a lot of people do is they put the butt connectors on here but it won't fit through the hole when you put the butt connectors here so you have to cut them here run cut cut it on this side and cut these pull the butt connectors out pull the wire out put a new thermistor in and then hook them back up now you do have uh you're not gonna be able to see this with the camera but one of them has a stripe and one of them doesn't you want to hook them back up the same way if you get these hooked up wrong sometimes you'll get a double zero reading uh, or cause trouble back there it won't read correctly so you make sure that you put these back the same way they are and if you're having issues you might swap them around but remember when you're changing out these thermistors that you push it back up through here first you push it through there and then butt connect it here if you put the butt connectors on first you're not gonna be able to get them through the hole and then after you get the butt connectors you try it out we have a temperature gun um, This is kind of what we do. Temperature gonna show 69 and it was reading about four degrees off or actually about 20. So yeah, see, so it's reading 74. The others are reading 68, 70 and it's reading 74. Uh, so we checked that it was about 10 degrees off and also you can these things are real sensitive so you can take your thumb and hold over them and the heat from your body will actually make the sensors go up so if you don't think they're working right check them with a temperature gun and then you can actually take your thumb put over the sensor you have one let me show you when it's working properly here so you see we have the middle one here and the middle one is reading 68. So we come here and just hold our thumb. Uh, you can twist it or hold it. Usually, uh, I don't know, uh, around 30 seconds, maybe 40 seconds. Just the heat from your body because they are real sensitive. So you can hold it there. We were at 68 degrees. Uh, just real quick, we'll look here. And see, it's already up to 74. 
So that's just from our the heat from our thumb that tells you. So since we've moved our thumb off of it, it's going to drop back down to the real room temperature because we've moved our thumb off of it. It's already dropped down from 74 down to 72. It's probably around 70 degrees in the coach, but that's a real quick way to check those sensors to see if they're working. Again, the front one, see the front one now is reading 70, 75. So that's back down to 71. So that's letting us know that there is something wrong with the thermistor itself. And we change this thermistor out. And again, where this goes through in here, uh, up in there, there's a piece of butyl tape that covers that hole just for any moisture buildup is what that's for, just a, just a water butyl tape. And you put that back in, check it with your temperature gun, your thumb again, and you should be good to go. Again, this is just how the Precision Boys do it. Thank you.